September of 2022. Yesterday, some Chinese guy called Takuko actually managed to beat our 3D Mark Time Spike Stream world record score, which I got with Joe Kart back in October of last year. He beat our score quite barely, so he got a score of 24,598 points, whereas our previous top score was at 24,539 points. So the difference was only like 59 points. For this run, he used two RTX 3090 Ti graphics cards, whereas we used two normal 3090 graphics cards. Obviously, the 3090 Ti is a tiny bit faster at the very same clock speeds, but the main highlight of this submission is that he used the very new AMD Threadripper 5995WX CPU, which seems to be a monster in the 3 d Mark Time Spike stream. He only used 48 cores and multi-threading disabled, but he got a whopping CPU score of 26,066 points. You actually need to disable the multi-threading on your CPU in order to make the SLI working on these newest generations from NVIDIA. There seems to be some kind of a bug on these newest generations from NVIDIA that the uh, SLI doesn't function correctly if you have the multi-threading enabled on your CPU. For some reason, he disabled some of the cores from the CPU as this CPU does have 64 physical cores, but anyways, he still got a massive CPU score with those 48 cores running at 4.95 gigahertz. The graphics score was only at 24,357, and the clock speeds for the graphics card should be at uh, based on the detail information at 3dmark.com, the cards were running at 2265 on the core and 1488 on the memory. So for some reason, he actually uh, set the cards back to stock for the screenshot, or it could be some GPU-Z information bug, whatever, I don't know at all. But anyways, as he got a new overall rank one score and we lost our rank one position on the leaderboard i had to reveal our very best score from that session so uh, i just uploaded it so our very best score from that session from last october was 24,851 points with two normal 3090 kimping graphics cards running at 2580 on the core and 1431 on the memory at least the memory clock is pretty awesome, but I think the course could be uh, got to like 2600 plus, but it was very difficult, trust me. So uh, if we take a look at the score itself, we used the W3175X on all of these tests, and it was usually kept at 5.4 gigahertz. So 28 cores and multi-threading disabled for the SLI tests, and we only got a score of 16,065 points on the CPU part of the test. 
So there's like a 10,000 point difference between the best workstation CPU Intel has to offer and the newest AMD Threadripper. So it's pretty massive if you ask me. So from now on, if you want to get the very best score in 3 Mark Times by Extreme, you need to use the latest Threadripper CPU from AMD. But anyways, the graphics part of the test was awesome. So 27,506 points on the graphics part at 2580 on the cores and 1431 on the memory. 80 gigabytes of memory, so only five channels were being used as uh, we couldn't use one of the channels as the backplate of the uh, graphics cards was blocking the uh, memory slot. So we couldn't use a memory stick on that one. So 80 gigabytes of memory, five channels, 3, 4, 66 mega transfers per second and 14, 14, 14, 28 common rate one timings. And the motherboard was obviously the EVGA SR3 Dark. T-Rex revision free on the CPU. And this is the uh, first Tech9 Icon GPU port from Kimping Cooling with the holes. We used that on the first card and we used the beta version of the Tech9 Icon Extreme on the second card. On the second card we used GPU Inferno and on the first card we used uh, a hair dryer blowing towards the back side of the card and it also helped to keep the memories at positive temperatures. The total power consumption of this whole rig with everything combined was pretty wicked. So I think you can put at least like uh, 700 to 1100 watts per card. The CPU, it definitely varies a lot, but on the 3D marks, the CPU doesn't really draw that much power. The CPU can draw well over 1000 watts in tests like Citibench, etc. But I think the power consumption during uh, Times by Extreme uh, CPU test was maybe like 700 watts, but I'm not fully certain. We had two Inferno heating units, so one behind the CPU, so behind the motherboard, and one on the uh, second graphics card and the uh, hair dryer was set to the maximum setting at the end like i think the power consumption at the maximum setting was like 1800 watts so you can imagine that the whole uh, power consumption was pretty insane we used uh, superflower lead x8 pack 2000 watt platinum to power the uh, uh, rig itself so the motherboard the cpu the memory and the first card and the evga supernova 2000 watt uh, g plus was powering the second graphics card. Then we also had a Seasonic Prime 1300 watt platinum to uh, keep the Inferno units running e even if the whole rig was shut down. So a pretty insane setup if you ask me. That's me pouring some of the LN2 onto the CPU container at the end part of the session. So uh, these are pretty much the settings and now we got a valid score in the 3D Mark Hall of Fame once again and now we have the rank one position again, both in the 3 Mark Times by Extreme global score. So if you select all GPUs and you can select two GPUs, we have the same score on that ranking. And then we also have the rank one score in 3 Mark Times by Extreme graphics part as well. So uh, 27,506 points. And the rank two is by Bizo Bizo with two. 3090 Ti graphics cards with same CPU and everything. So 27,383 points with the uh, cores running at 2550 and 1500 on the memory. So nearly the same clocks on the cards, but we were still a tiny bit faster with the normal 3090s. So this kind of proves that the release of the 3090 Ti graphics card model has been quite useless if you ask me. The difference is so small that I don't see that much sense for the 3090 Ti graphics card model to even exist, if you ask me. The uh, normal 3090 is just fine, if you ask me. So uh, the 3090 Ti, there's absolutely no sense to upgrade from normal 3090 to the 3090 Ti. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So this will be the very last free mark world record score for the normal 3090. We will have new graphics card models coming out to the market quite soon. So uh, very good results for the normal 3090. If you ask me, it has been an awesome graphics card since I got it back in December of 2020. Tons of different top scores 
like over and over again. So uh, if you like to see this very last 3D Mark golden crown for the normal 3090 Kimping graphics card, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.